Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different, okay you guys? We are talking all about men's fragrances. I have a list of 20, not 10, 20 of the sexiest men's fragrances. So, if this is content you want to see more of, I need you to make sure that you do give the video a big thumbs up. Me and y'all been asking for this video, so here it is. Without further ado, let's get into my list of 20 sexiest men's fragrances for 2022. Right, you guys so the first one on this list let me just we gonna start out with the dundada okay just add it to your cart man this just add it to cart okay we're talking about herod by parfums de marley so this fragrance is beyond sexy this is your tobacco vanilla spicy scent it is sweet, it is creamy, it's got, you know, this fruity nuance from Osmanthus. But pretty much when you put this fragrance on, you're going to turn heads. Like women cannot resist this fragrance. It is just, it's fantastic. What can I say? Um, all of these fragrances are amazing, but if you don't get your nose on nothing else, I mean, I need you to go and smell this fragrance. Get a tester, blind buy it, whatever. Do I think this is blind by worthy? Yes, it is super sexy. And it's just, it's a no brainer. This, this is a no brainer. So if you take nothing else from this video, you have no niche, you only do designer, you're trying to elevate it, I need you to get Herod by Parfums de Marly. Sexy fragrance. All right, you guys, so number two on the list is going to be the scent Elysium, and this is by Roja Dove. Okay, so Elysium has the most <laughs> beautiful opening. So you have this abundance of citrus. That's what you're opening with, okay? So you've got lime, you've got lemon, you've got bergamot, you've got grapefruit, I mean, everything, thyme. It's just so aromatic and so fresh. But as the fragrance starts to develop, you're going to get this black currant and the juniper berries that come in, which is gonna give it a little bit more depth. But at the, at the base of the fragrance, you left with a very fresh ambergris. You've got a little bit of a leather in there, some benzoin and vanilla. So this fragrance, it definitely takes you on a journey, but it is a wonderful fragrance. If you're a guy that likes freshies, but you want something just a little bit more elevated, a little bit more of a wow factor, Elysium by Roja Dove is definitely one you should try. Okay, now this next one on the list is also from the house of Roja Dove, but baby, <laughs> when I tell you this thing is a 10 out of 10, this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance. This one you must try. And this is Creation E Parfum Cologne. It may be Enigma, just depending on where you live. It's the same fragrance. So Creation E or Enigma. This opens with the, this has got to be the most spectacular opening of any fragrance ever made. So it literally smells like, well you even, okay, let me calm down. Fizzy pop, like Coca-Cola. Um, that's what it opens like. You can literally feel the bubbles in your nose when you smell it. And I don't know how he did that. I, it is just amazing. It's something you have to experience. But this too, this fragrance takes you on a journey. And when I tell you the way this develops on skin, you're going to have the most intoxicating centrail. It's so sexy, it's so different. It dries down to something like a vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood base, and it's boozy because you've got this cognac note in there. So you're talking about this gingery, citrusy, like fresh opening, and then it develops into this gorgeous vanilla cognac scent. 
I mean, it makes no sense, but the way he has blended this, the way it, it wears in the air, it just is so intoxicating. Now, you want them following after you in a trail in a line? Creation E by Roja Dub, 10 out of 10. Women love this, it's so magnetizing. Definitely check okay, it out. Okay, so the next one is Colonisi, and this is by Nishane. And this fragrance is a must have for that really hot weather. If you're in a climate where it gets humid, it gets sticky hot, you need something like this fragrance. This is a green fragrance, but it's aromatic, okay? The green is not anything scary green. It's, it's green that you get from a green tea. It has a green tea note but it's so clean and soapy. This is a fantastic fragrance. And you're talking about, you know, a wonderful sillage. You have the longevity. Nishane, they make quality fragrances. They're extras. So this smells so, so amazing. And for a freshie, like it, if you want to smell clean, okay, you're going to a, a all-white party, you're going to a day party, and you want to wow them, but you don't want to wear anything that's heavy and too sweet and sticky, and you want something that's a little different with the wow factor, Colonise by Nishane is the one. It is amazing. Okay, now, uh, we all know about Aventus by Creed, okay? It's not gonna make it on the list, all right? Everybody is familiar with it. At least everyone has heard of it. If you're interested in it, go out and smell it. Good fragrance. Is it just a 10 out of 10? No. What you need to try from Creed is Royal Oud, okay? This is old money. This is, this is a zaddy fragrance. That's what this is. This man is on his third wife. Let me tell you that right now. Okay. This is probably one of the most elevated, rich, but sexy. Since if you want to smell like you have money, if you have it or if you don't, if you want to smell like it, Royal Oud by Creed. This, I could smell this all day. I could smell this all day and I would never get tired of it. And it's it's royal oud, but don't let that scare you because to me, this is not a loud oud scent. The, the oud in this is actually a little bit more in the background, okay? This is more of a cedar balm. So there's a little bit of sweetness in here. When I smell this, literally I envision like a, an English billionaire, okay? He's not new to this. <laughs> I mean, so sexy, but very, very pulled together, very debonair. This is one you can wear if you're trying to impress, to wow. You have a very special engagement you wanna go to. Um, this is one to wear, okay? You are going to meet the parents. <laughs> this is one to wear. Getting dressed up for an event like this is the scent. It is amazing. Uh, again, just one of the best from the house. I've tried a lot of creeds <laughs> and feel in trying to prepare for this video, but this one, it knocked uh, my socks off. Love it. 10 out of 10. Royal Oud by Creed, for sure a must have. All right, you guys. So the next one on this list is by the house of MFK. And this is the Masterpiece Amber Scent Grand Soir. If you, if you up here walking around on God's green earth and you don't have Grand Soir in your collection as a man, I need you to get it together. This is so, so addictive. This is your rich, gooey, sweet, sticky, elevated, refined amber scent. This is... Masterpiece scent, this is perfection. This just, it is everything. It opens very, um, very ambery and masculine. When it starts to dry down, it just becomes a very smooth and rich, and like I said, very deep and intoxicating scent. It's slightly powdery from the tonka bean, 
it's got this this little little bit of a leathery nuance from the lead denim in the base and then you've got this lavender so you're talking about you know this this ambery vanilla with the with a lavender i mean it is irresistible <laughs> This fragrance is the classiest amber. Um, it just, it doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't get any more sophisticated, more refined, smooth, just elevated. This is, I'm telling you, Winter and Fall Must Have Grand Soir by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. Okay, now, no offense, this is not on the list, but we still got a pineapple bomb. This is going to be Lamar by the House of Kajal. You guys, just the opulence in the bottle says it all. This is everything, okay? Lamar, speechless, okay? If you wear this, you're going to have them flocking. The women are going to be flocking. No one is gonna smell like you, I can guarantee that. And no one is gonna smell, who's smelling better than you? Who? Mm -mm. This is my favorite pineapple to smell on a man, hands down. Okay, so it's pineapple, but this is not like a freshie. This has so much depth because it is so woody. You got some red berries in there, but it's just, it's a very, very masculine leaning woody pineapple scent. Pineapple is so juicy. It's sweet, it's rich, it's intoxicating. It is just, it's just everything. I mean, it, it, this scent literally leaves me speechless. Yeah, yeah, you have, summer, must have, spring, must, you can actually wear this year round if you wanted to because it has so much depth from the woody notes, but Definitely a must have for the uh, the summertime because like I said, that pineapple is so robust. It's rich, it's sweet. It is literally an intoxicating pineapple scent. Every pineapple don't have to be a freshie, okay? This one is going to knock her socks off. It's a beast, okay? Powerful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Again, Lamar by Kajal. If you've never smelled it, never tried it, highly recommend you getting your hands on so it. So the next one is, wow, another masterpiece scent. I got a lot of masterpiece scents on this list, so y'all better be taking heed. This is Oud for Greatness. Y'all see how great this bottle looks? The packaging, the juice is even better. Okay, so Oud for Greatness is a very dry, woody, Oud spicy scent. So this is saffron, it is oud, it is patchouli, it is intoxicating, magnetizing. Who in the hell is that walking past me? Fragrance, this is a room filler. Everyone will smell you. This is not one that you wear to an event where, um, you know, you're gonna be working the room and you need to be in like little groups here and, and there. It, no, because something like that, it needs to be maybe about three foot, six, you know, three three to four foot type of siage. This, you're filling the room. You're filling the room. This is a very formal scent. This is not one you're gonna throw on for work, more than likely. This is, just one you have to have. You've got to try it. This is gonna be definitely a fall winter scent. Like I said, very, very deep, woody, oody scent. But the oud is so smooth. It's not barnyardy, it's not animalic, it's none of that. It is oud perfection and appropriately named oud for greatness. I'm telling you. Irresistible, intoxicating, irresistible siage is what the fragrance is. Again, that is Oud for Greatness by Nishio. All right, you guys, so the next one on this list is probably one of my favorite designer men's fragrances. And this is Prada's Luna Rosa Black. Okay, 
when I first smelled this, I was not a fan of the opening. The Angelica, um, it just, I don't know, but the way this thing dries down and develops, I was like, oh my God, this is almost like, it's a Netflix and chill scent. This is the one you wear when she's coming over to Netflix and chill because she is going to be all over you, like literally, like a spider monkey. Okay, so this dries down to something powdery. It's slightly sweet. It is almost like elusive. Like you just, you just gotta smell it. It smells amazing. It is very musky, but a clean musk. It is, it is everything, okay? When I tell you, wear this she will be following you around all all everywhere you go she's gonna be right behind you trying to sniff you very very um magnetizing scent but like i said it's light there is this muskiness to it this powderiness from the cumarin this is a fantastic fragrance a must try again make sure it's black this is prada luna rosa black fantastic fragrance. Okay, you guys, so the next one on this list is from the House of Parfums de Marley, and this is Layton. This, my friends, is a non-negotiable. This fragrance belongs in every man's collection. This, <laughs> women love this scent on a man. This is beast mold but it is the perfect intro to niche fragrance i'm telling you if you don't have nothing but designers and you're ready to step it up okay layton layton is what you need this is such a wonderful like green apple lavender uh spicy scent so you've got this cardamom you've got black pepper and you've got this these woody nuances um, as it begins to dry down. But there's a very prominent lavender that just makes it so aromatic. The vanilla in here is quite prominent. I mean, it it is a must have. It, this is your date night fragrance, especially in the cooler weather. It is amazing. Oh my God. 10 out of 10 out of 10. <laughs> out of 10. <laughs> Layden is just, this is the scent that is going to literally have every female in the room trying to figure out who smells like that. What does he have on? Like, if you have a jealous girlfriend, leave her ass at home if you're wearing Layden out the house. I'm trying to tell you right now. Because Layden did not come to play. <laughs> Layden by Parfums de Marley. Blind by Worthy, Lavender, Green Apple, Aromatic, Beast Mode. Okay, that's all you need to know. I need you to add that one to cart to Harriet, Layton. We don't take nothing else from this video. Those two, you need to have. All right, guys, so the next one on this list is going to be Amber Nui, and this is the Private Line Christian Dior. This fragrance is just literally one of my favorite ambers. This is your clean, fresh, aromatic amber. This is not like your, your grand soir, that heavy, sweet, sticky, um, you know, type of amber. This one, mm, it's like an amber, but it's amber gray with it. And it's got, you know, these citruses and it's, it's bright. This is a bright amber, but the sillage, okay, the scent trail on this, is so intoxicating. When you are walking through the smell you leave behind, it lingers and it is just amazing. Like women love this scent. I love this scent. I mean, I could spray it and smell it all day. It is, I think it's one of the best from the house. Um, it's been around for a while. I don't hear a lot of people still talking about it, but this is just one I feel like belongs in every man and in every woman's collection. Again, you can dress this up, you can dress it down, you can wear it to on a date night, you can wear it to work, you can wear it to church, 
wherever you are going and you want to smell amazing, Amber Nui is the one to have. I love this scent. And like I said, I get one of my favorite from Christian Dior's private line, Magnificent Amber Scent. All right, now we got some from your boy Tom for honey. This is Tobacco Vanille. Tom, can we talk? Oh, this is just, it, this is so sexy, okay? This is a sweet one for my gourmand lovers. Tobacco Vanille is a very spicy, creamy, sweet vanilla tobacco. When I say that this is what you're wearing when you go out on a date in fall and winter, this is what you're wearing. I mean, come on now. You're not even playing fair when you put this on and walk out the house. You're not playing fair. <laughs> like, do not wear this around me on the first date. Please don't. It's not gonna end up good for me. Like this scent is very, very sensual. Like I said, sweet, spicy, but it's sophisticated. It's something about a tobacco scent. It's just, they did. It don't get no better than a good tobacco. Man, if you are, li if you're living life without a good tobacco scent in your collection, I need you to stop what you're doing. I need you to run out and I need you to get one right now. Amazing sillage, okay? Sillage monster. When you walk by, everyone's gonna smell you. When you leave the room, everyone will know that you were there. This is one of my favorites from the house. And again, that is Tobacco Vanille. Just a sweet, creamy mm, tobacco perfection. That's what it is, tobacco perfection. All right, you guys, and we have another one from the house of Tom Ford. And this is going to be Oud Wood. Okay, talk about another scent that I feel like belongs in every man's collection. This is a perfect <laughs> intro to Oud fragrance. This thing is so, oh my God, it's so manly, it's so masculine. And there's this Oud, but it's very smooth and it's not loud and overpowering. The sillage and the projection on this, it's gonna be very moderate, not a skin scent, but because it's moderate and it's not some beast mode scent like Oud for Greatness, this is gonna be so much more versatile. If you wanted to wear Oud Wood to work, you could. If you wanted to wear it on a date night, you could. Oh my God, it is just such an attractive, sexy, deep, woody scent. There's a slight sweetness to it. Not quite as um, much of the sweetness as Oud uh, for greatness, but there's a sweetness to it. There is this birch tar note in here that is very smoky. It, it almost makes me think that there, it's like, it's almost giving like this leathery vibe, but it's not quite leather. Yeah, it's very smoky. Uh, like I said, oud, but more so like the sandalwood combination. Um, and it is just a stunner. This is just a stunner. One of the best from the house. Very, very wearable oud. Very likable, very crowd pleasing. You cannot go wrong with this scent. If you are a guy that only has freshies, <laughs> in his collection, like I get it, but you definitely need one of those just, you know, 10 out of 10 wood scents. And this is that scent. This is one of the best from the house in my opinion. It's not anything overly complex like a black orchid. <laughs> this one is easy to wear. It's easy to like, but it still has the wow factor. It's, I can't stop smelling the thing. It smells so good. Oud wood, must have, must have scent. Okay, you guys, so the next one up on this list is going to be another one from the Christian Dior private line, and this is Fev Delicios. This thing is so delicious. Let me tell you right now. This is such an amazing gourmand scent. If you're a guy 
that likes a sweeter scent. Oh my God. You, you, she's gonna be tongue tied trying to figure out what the who the what in the waka flock of flame is this man wearing? This scent has got this prominent cherry, but it's got leather, it's got milk, it's got almond, it's got, I mean, it's got a lot going on in the fragrance, but the way that they have crafted this, it is uh, chef's kiss. <laughs> this is chef's kiss. Um, what can I say? If you're a gourmand lover and you don't have anything like this one in your collection, you need this, like you need this in your collection. You really do. This is a fall winter stunner. This one um, has great performance. This one is very unique. Who's, no one is going to smell like you when you have this on. It's very intoxicating, it's sweet. The scent trail is amazing on this and it's just, you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna smell edible. Okay, she's going to want to, take a bite what can I say I mean love it love it I'm obsessed with the way this smells absolutely fantastic fragrance 10 out of 10 okay Bab Delicios by Christian Dior guys so the next one on this list is gonna be for the leather lover initially I had Tom Ford's ombre leather on this list but that dry down and the way it wears on skin, I feel like is a little underwhelming compared to the way it smells on paper. And the performance, it's, okay, like we, we need people to smell you, okay? Ursa by Tiziana Terenzi is epic. If you love leather fragrances and you have never smelled this, Honey, this is, ooh, beast mode. Beast mode, leather well done, okay? Patchouli, not dirty, so, so smooth. Oh my God, this is an amazing leather scent. I don't even like leather scents, but this is just so well done. It is so well blended. The quality of this house is just, it's next level. If you've never tried anything from Tiziana Terenzi, highly suggest you getting your nose on some fragrances from this company because they are all like, it, they're all stellar, all stellar. And this is probably one of the most amazing leather scents. There's this tobacco note in here. It's almost like it's smoky, it's leathery. The patchouli is giving it this herbaceous quality. It is phenomenal. Phenomenal leather scent. It's Ursa. If you're, like I said, if you're in the leather, go ahead and get yourself a sample of this one to try. Mm, amazing, intoxicating leather scent, Ursa. All right, you guys, so we have another Nishane coming up on the list. Honey, Nishane is not coming out the park. So this is Hachivat. Okay. This too is a pineapple scent, but this is going to be your pineapple freshie. I've tested Hachavat and I've tested Creed Aventis like together at the same time on skin. Hands down, hands down. Because for me, the opening of Aventis, I love it. It dries down, you lose that pineapple and it's just, it's just, it's good, but it, this is better. <laughs> this is better. If you're aware of Aventus, you're a lover of Aventus, or if you're just kind of sick of hearing the name <laughs> Aventus, you're ready to move on to something else. This one is just a little bit more elevated. This one is, it's got more depth. It's better blended. This one, amazing performance. The sillage on this one is enormous, okay? Fresh, still woody. It projects. It lasts forever. What I mean, the quality, <laughs> the quality is there. This is worth the price point. Aventus is good, but huh, they, they kind of tripping on the price tags over at Creed. Trust me. This is an amazing pineapple scent. 
if you are looking for a fresh pineapple, but one that's gonna last, one that's going to perform, Hashivat is definitely one you need to try. All right, you guys, so the next one on this list is Lyric Man, and this is by the House of Amouage. This is the most elevated, sophisticated, almost soapy clean rose scent. I mean, this is, this man has got bank. <laughs> this man has got money. It is, like I said, it's just super sophisticated, very, a very elevated, but classic feeling scent, very clean. The rose is not like something that's really, um, I don't know, it, it's not a rose. When you smell it, you're not gonna go, oh, this is like this rich, deep. Um, it's not like that, it's a very, very clean scent. And it is just one that, this is your, you wanna smell really elevated when you go to work. This is what you put on. You can also dress it down. I mean, if this, if we're looking for a signature scent type of scent, this is the one that I highly suggest. Women just love the, the classiness of this fragrance. Um, you, you're just going to feel put together. You're going to smell put together. Just th if you're a clean guy and you want to smell as clean as you look, Lyric Man by Amouage is a definite must have. Okay, so the next one up on this list is a masterpiece fragrance. This is Portrait of a Lady. Portrait of a Lady is a, like this is to me what started the whole rose patchouli combo um, trend. This is black tie. This is so over sophisticated and elegant. You don't put on Portrait of a Lady to go to work. <laughs> You put this on when you got somewhere to go. This fragrance fills a room like nothing else. I put it on a texture strip. I came back the next day and I'm just like, what the hell smells so amazing in my bedroom? And I'm sniffing around and I'm like, that is Portrait of a Lady. Like still alive and well and just, it was projecting around the entire bedroom on a texture strip that I sprayed like a day ago. Like that is how powerful this scent is. You do not need to overspray Portrait of a Lady. Portrait of a Lady is a very rich, deep, beautiful rose scent. It has a, a very prominent patchouli. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it as a blind buy. Definitely test it, but it's it's got some spiciness in it from clove, but there's this smoothness from sandalwood and incense. And I just, I feel like the incense and the sandalwood, it just makes it so rounded and smooth and sophisticated. Like this is like seriously, like Idris Elba, James Bond type of vibe. Like it is very, very elegant. This is like English elegance, okay? <laughs> elevated to like to 10. I love, love, love this one. And again, if you're looking for a formal scent, Portrait of a Lady, Masterpiece Rose Patchouli scent. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, you guys, so we are getting down to the nitty gritty. This is number 19 on the list. And this is another 13 by Le Labo. Now, Le Labo, um, has some amazing scents, but this one is one of my favorites. And it's the most simple. If you're like those Molecule 0102 scents, if you like the Julia has a gun, not a perfume type of, this is this is what you need in, in your collection, seriously. Now, if you're a fan of Baccarat Rouge, but you feel like it's just not quite wearable on, a, on an everyday basis for you, it's too sweet maybe, depending on the time of the year, check this one out because this is literally like Ambroxan heaven. It's Isoe Super. It's Ambergris. Okay, it's Ambrette. It's musk. It's pear. It is so fresh and clean and musky and just amazing. I love the way this smells on a man. That jump out, that fresh out of the shower type of smell, another 13. Okay, this one 
some people don't, they go very anosmic to Ambroxan. I don't. So when I put this on or when I smell it on someone, I smell it like all day. It just, something very addictive about it. I don't know what it is, but I love this scent. I think that mm, this one you put on, you overspray it and it's not gonna be offensive, okay? But everyone will be able to kind of like get a whiff of you. I think this is an amazing fragrance from the house. Again, that is another 13 by Le Labo. All right, you guys, and so the next one is going to be also from the House of Creed, and this is our 20th fragrance. This is a Virgin Island Water. Okay. Wonderful, citrusy, coconut, clean coconut, like, not like coconut milk. This is a very fresh, clean coconut water. Mm, citrus scent. It smells just amazing on a man. This smells so wonderful in the air. Like when you smell it on paper, it smells good. But as it wears on a person and it, you know, wafts around in the air and it gets out there into the room, it smells, it smells so good. It smells so good. I love the way this smells on a man. Okay, hot weather fragrance. Um, you're going out with the girl on a day date, y'all going to an amusement park, you're going to, to, you know, a date out on the beach. Um, it's, this is what you want to wear. Like this smells so sexy, but fresh. And it's just like, what can I say? I mean, it's Creed. <laughs> They, when, when it's, when they do it right, they really do it right. This is a wonderful, like it's captivating and it's fresh and it's transparent and it's citrusy. I just love the citrusy smell in this. And it doesn't give me that cleaning like products citrus, which I get that vibe from so many citruses, but I don't get it from this. Love this fragrance. Again, this is a Virgin Island water by the House of Creed. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. What do you think? Do you wanna see more content like this? If so, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Also, drop me a comment below. Women, let me know some of your favorites to smell on your guy. Men, if you are watching, what are some of your favorites? And did I bring up anything new on this list that may interest you? Let me know in the comments below. You guys, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that the notification bell is turned on. I have really enjoyed this time with you guys, but I will have to catch you on the next one.